It's a regular Thursday afternoon along Ayala Avenue. Traffic and busy professionals fill the length of it as usual. But among Ayala's everyday inhabitants, several people stand out. Back. Catriona Grace fans eagerly waiting for their beloved Miss Universe to pass by. One of the fans, Ines Dagohoy, has waited for Catriona for hours. She says she's been following Catriona since the beauty queen competed in Miss World in 2016. For Ines, Catriona inspires her work as a stylist, and her top-to-toe Catriona-inspired look proves it. Catriona is an inspiration, not just for her art, but to the LGBT community. Sa mundo ng LGBT, siya talaga yung ano namin, pinaka-idol namin, no? Pagdating sa Miss Universe o sa any beauty pageant, talagang yun, kaya excited kaming makita talaga. Like Inez, Bradley has followed Catriona since her Miss World days, but had never had the chance to see her in person before. Since she won the Miss Universe way back December 2018, I'm so excited for this day. <laughs> Catriona was crowned in Bangkok, Thailand in December 2018, and after a quick return to the Philippines, left for New York, USA, where she will be living for the rest of her reign. For many of her fans, this is their first and possibly only chance to see their queen in person. Alam naman natin na sobrang hirap yung pinagdaanan niya from training, preparation, talagang napaka hands-on niya sa lahat ng bagay. I love you, Catriona. <laughs> As Catriona's convoy draws near, more fans emerge, many of them employees from the nearby office buildings. It's a long, tiring, and crowded wait, but that doesn't seem to wipe the smiles from the fans' faces. When Catriona finally arrives, she returns their energy in bounds. The day may have started out as an ordinary afternoon along Ayala Avenue, but for Catriona, and especially Catriona's fans, it has become a day they won't soon forget. Amanda Lago, Rappler, Manila.